the biomass industry in the United States got its start here in California. It's growing strong, not only across the United States, but across the world. But in California, the industry is actually dying. There's been ups and downs in it, but right now we're in a downturn. Everybody needs to recognize the environmental disaster we're sitting on. Intermittent renewables, such as solar and wind, only operate when the sun is shining or the wind is blowing. Biomass, as being a base load power, provides power 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Biomass usually consists of three different types of fuel. One is urban diversion, which is construction, demolition, debris that comes out of urban areas. Another is agricultural trimmings, either orchard grindings, walnut shells. The third type of material is forest, and that's any material that comes out of the forest or logging industry that also doesn't have an economical use outside of fuel for a biomass power generation facility. Most of the plants in the state began operation in the late 1980s with 25 to 30 year power purchase agreements. Those contracts are starting to expire. At the beginning of 2017, less than half of the available plants in the state will still be in operation. Facilities like Tracy and others in the valley have shut down both last year and this year to where there's only a few existing biomass plants that are still operating. As those facilities begin to shut down, there's other challenges that Californians will begin to face. Increased fire risk, health hazards because of open burning, more material going to landfill. So there's a lot of benefits that these facilities bring in addition to the renewable energy that we generate each year. I have the overall responsibility and oversight for the 18 National Forests here in California. We're moving into the fifth year of a drought. And what that has done is that stress the trees. It's literally overwhelming when you look at the condition of the lands from tree mortality. When we treat that landscape, what we do is go in and we thin the vegetation. And so for us, it's really critical to utilize this material rather than to just let it set. Three years ago, uh, we spent about $300 million just in California during fire suppression. In 2014, we spent about $400 million. And last year, we spent $503 million. It would have been a lot cheaper if we could utilize some of this material for good, like energy from biomass. We're in the agricultural, urban, and organic byproducts recycling business. Like the walnut shell you see behind me, we market it to the biomass plants for biomass fuel. If the biomass power plants have to shut down, we have a big catastrophe here. With all these biomass fuel, there's no place to go. The California Public Utility Commission needs to move forward quickly with the overhaul of least cost best fit. They need to take into account when procuring renewable energy the societal benefits, the environmental benefits, the baseload benefits, and also the integration cost. One perspective is that biomass costs more than natural gas or wind and solar on the surface. It's a very narrow perspective in a greater scheme of things because when you have wildfires, the public is still paying for that suppression. Biomass is necessary, and we need to stop looking at it as one-dimensional. These facilities can reliably operate again as soon as we have power purchase agreements. We've been working with state and local legislators to this end, but have thus far been unsuccessful. To not recognize the value of the biomass plants in the state of California, it doesn't make sense. This whole thing will come together real soon when all this material, the urban, starts going back into the landfills and we start burning the orchards. And when, heaven forbid, we have a fire in the Sierras. There's a number of ways that we can talk about what these national forests is doing for our American public. Our focus is really on values like recreation, water, generating electricity. And so how do we tell that story in its entirety using all the tools available to us, including biomass and the energy created from it? The biomass industry is a critical part of the environment in California to help keep it clean. Mm -hmm.